Hey, what's up, Simon O'Dell? I, uh, I've, I've only watched two of your videos um, about the many worlds interpretation of quantum physics, so I don't pretend to know um, much about your way of interpreting it, uh, or even much about the many worlds interpretation in general. Um, I'm more read up on the Copenhagen interpretation, you know, Niels Bohr's ideas, uh, Heisenberg, Eddington, and uh, a little bit of uh, David Bohm. Um, so I don't necessarily think anything uh, suggested by the many worlds interpretation is incorrect or wrong. I can't really argue against it with any evidence. Um, but the thing about quantum physics is it seems like everybody has their own interpretation uh, of uh, the experimental results uh, that the mathematical formulas and wave functions predict uh, what happens in these experiments cannot be denied, so that part's objective. Uh, it's just what that mathematical uh, experimentation means. Um, the math itself, it's, it's all just a formal system. It doesn't matter what any of the symbols mean, as long as uh, you set up a, you know, a certain system of rules, and those rules are obeyed. It, it only matters about uh, the shapes that those symbols take, uh, the sequences that they form, and, and the mathematical uh, relationships that they uh, have with one another. Um, it's when we try to interpret these mathematical relationships in, um, you know, a natural language, uh, a human, a humanly meaningful language. Um, you know, I've written a couple of essays in trying to incorporate quantum physics, and I've talked about it in a couple other videos, but I'm always hesitant to uh, dive into it because it seems like every time I mention it, I end up interpreting it in a, in a different way. Um, usually I, I try to relate it to language, um, and there I definitely agree with you that the common way we speak about uh, the universe and our experience of it may not necessarily have anything to do with what that universe actually is. Uh, and it's very difficult to describe reality in English or French or German or uh, Swahili or Sanskrit, whatever language you want to use. It's very difficult because uh, the structure of grammar doesn't necessarily uh, mimic the structure of nature. Um, nouns and, and verbs, things and processes. Uh, it seems like verbs are a little bit closer than nouns because the world is more of a process than a uh, collection of discrete objects. Um, but even to speak of specific events, uh, in order to talk of there being uh, a me, a body that is mine, that lives and breathes and eats and shits. Uh, in order to talk about that, I need to talk about the food that I eat and the air that I breathe uh, and the environment that I inhabit. Uh, otherwise, what am I? Uh, it's impossible to conceive of, of an organism without its environment. Um, so all of these events, these discrete events that we think are processes occurring as a separate set or whole, uh, they're really part of a larger whole. And uh, all events are related. They're all connected. They are uh, all implicated in one another's activity. You change one event on the other side of the world and it's there's no real way to predict um, how it's going to affect something on the other side of the planet. Um, Nature is just complex and uh, non-locally related, it appears. Um, space and time are not uh, necessarily as, as spread out as human beings perceive them to be and talk about them as being. It all seems to occur at once. 
And so, you know, scientifically we like to talk about the universe as determined, which uh, I, it seems like the mini world interpretation is an attempt to preserve that fact uh, in that, you know, each of these possibilities of sequences of events or possible universes, uh, whenever they split off at any given moment into uh, an infinite array of, of possibilities, each one of those possibilities, after it happens, I guess, is then determined by its past. Uh, it's not like something new was created. Um, but somehow there's this process or stuff called consciousness that can, or has to, pick one specific um, chain of necessary events of an infinite number of possibilities. So many worlds allows us to preserve both determinism and free will, uh, or at least it requires that we assume each of these exist. Um, if we do assume each of those exist in the same reality of many universes, um, then we can preserve both both determinism, the fact that the universe is basically material, uh, but we can also preserve consciousness, the idea that the universe, uh, that we exist in this universe, and that our thoughts uh, are also real. So, in many worlds, it seems to be kind of trying to uh, be an apologetic for Cartesian dualism. Uh, that there's these two substances, matter, space, and time, the world, and mind, the soul, our free will, our ability to imagine, to subjectively experience an objective world.